Welcome back. Getting a divorce is one of the most stressful things a person can experience in life. Thankfully, there are ways to make it a bit easier. Joining us now with some tips for getting divorced is award-winning family lawyer, legal strategist, and best-selling author, Joran Jenkins. Joran, welcome to Great Day. Hi there. So just starting out, how do I tell my spouse? You know, it's funny because most of the time when I meet with a client, they've already been talking about divorce, but there are those few and far between clients who are really terrified of telling their spouse that that's where they're headed. Um, I was divorced and I had a hard time uh, mentioning it to my spouse. And there there's, doesn't necessarily have to be domestic violence or anything like that involved for uh, an, uh, a spouse to be emotionally not equipped to tell the other spouse. So we talk about um, going out to dinner and doing it in a public place. We talk about um, involving a close friend in, in telling the other one. I like to send a letter and uh, uh, explain who I am and why the client consulted with me and why we would like to uh, consider doing a divorce uh, in as cooperative a way as possible, or what we call nowadays collaboratively. Sure, and I mean, are there, is there ever a spouse who is just totally caught off guard? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, sometimes I have the spouse calling me in tears and they want to talk about it. And, uh, and you know, unlike most lawyers, because I'm a collaborative lawyer, I do talk to both spouses. I don't give legal advice because that would break the rules for us lawyers, but I do talk about the various processes that people can choose to get divorced. And making that choice early to, to be as cooperative with, with each other as possible is going to uh, ensure that your divorce is less expensive, um, less time consuming, less stressful. Because as you, as you so rightly point out, I think divorce is the most stressful thing that, that can happen to a, a couple. It's, um, it probably means relocation for at least one spouse, if not both. Uh, it's a death. It's the death of a relationship. And to make it worse, the other spouse is still walking around doing stuff. So. <laughs> It's not easy. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, you know, I have a close friend of mine who was worried about getting a divorce because of their children. So, uh, you know, any, any tips for, for people who have, who have kids? You know, the first thing I tell my clients is go out and buy one of those books or five of those books or 10 of those. There are books out there that are specifically written to the parents who, um, who need to tell their children, discuss that they're going to get divorced and explain to the children that the parents' divorce is absolutely no reflection on the love that they have for their children. Um, and those books are immensely helpful. Now, I'm a lawyer, so I am not a mental health practitioner, but if you're in marriage counseling, I always say talk to the marriage counselor about how to let the kids know that that's where you're headed. Um, you know, if, it's, if you're in one of those awful litigated divorces, those really stressful ones, then the kids are going to suffer the blowback almost inevitably. Um, and so I always try to get a mental health practitioner involved with the couple as early as I can. Sure. And then you mentioned earlier, you know, having to move out of the home. Um, that's, that's a reality that uh, some, some people might have to face. Well, it's funny because in 2009, we divorce lawyers discovered that we weren't doing nearly as much divorce work as we used to see. And it turned out, as I, I figured this out myself, that couples were deciding to stay together. I would call people who would come in for a consultation and I'd say, so what's up? What are you, what are you planning on doing? Well, we're, we're still going to get divorced, oh, wow. but we can't afford to move and the house is in foreclosure and so we're not paying a mortgage, we're not paying rent. I mean, a number of uh, clients who came to me later in 2010, 2011 to get their divorce done, they stayed in limbo for a couple of years that way. So oh yeah, gosh. but I mean, let's face it, one, one of you is going to move and likely both of you because two people can't live separately as inexpensively as they can together. It's just, it's just the honest truth. Sure, so. sure. Sounds like an awkward roommate situation to me. All right. And then people will likely want to know, you know, how long is, does this process take? Does it vary? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I had a divorce that took ten, um, five years. It was five years. It included four appeals. These people were so conflict-oriented, conflict -oriented, they were so conflict-driven, they could not agree on what color the sky was, which was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, 
And uh, hopefully it doesn't usually take that long. The courts try to get them done in a year. They actually say they like to get them done within six months. Um, and sometimes they do. Uh, those are the people who really have nothing to argue over. Um, and a lot of the couples that I get divorced, uh, get divorced in under six months. If you're collaborative, we can get you done in three to four months. But that's working, working towards a goal, really working towards getting you a restructured family, getting you a happy divorce, getting you two, two kids, three kids, however many, who know that they have their parents who love them and they're not worried and, um, and they're well-balanced. Sure. I mean, I've heard the term conscious uncoupling. Does that fit in here in any way, shape, or form? I suspect that the actress who, uh, I don't think she coined the term, but who adopted the term was talking about um, a collaborative process to some degree. Conscious uncoupling, I think, was referring to the emotional dis disconnection. I see. Um, collaborative divorce covers legal, financial, and emotional. We cover all three areas. We address all three struggles that you're going to have uh, in your in your divorce process. And and. At the end of the day, we get you divorced. We get you a happy divorce. All right, wonderful. It is possible. Thank you, Jordan, for your time today. Happy. For more on steps to filing for divorce, check out either of Jordan's websites, openpalmlaw.com or jornjenkins.com. And, of course, there's much more to come on Great Day After the Break. We'll be back.